Hello everyone, this is Melody. Halloween is just around the corner, so today I would like to show how to make unique and decorative dishes perfect for home parties. Today's dishes are inspired by Halloween that we celebrate in America, collaborated with Japanese-style mini oshizushi. 私が幼い頃から食べていたおし寿司をハロウィン風にアレンジしたものとサイドディッシュにかぼちゃサラダを作ります These are the ingredients for today's menu The full ingredients list will be on my blog This time of the year you can find Halloween cookie cutters at American supermarkets Today I'm going to be using these ones to make Japanese おし寿司 which are pressed sushi First, make the sushi rice by simply mixing the freshly cooked rice with sushi vinegar. I'm going to start off by making my first mini oshizushi using this kawaii pumpkin. Today, I'm going to be using smoked salmon sashimi to make it look like a pumpkin. Place the cookie cutter on top. Before you cut out the shape, make sure that the edges are all within the salmon. Press down, and once you feel the shape is defined, Remove the outer part and you should end up with the pumpkin shape. Slightly wet the cookie cutter so the sushi rice won't stick to it. Then begin putting in the sushi rice from the bottom up to the halfway point and gently press the rice to create the shape. Place your sliced avocado pieces. Then add rice up to the very top of the cookie cutter and press to define the shape. Then carefully take out the mini oshizushi and place the pumpkin shaped smoked salmon we made earlier on top. Since I want to be extra decorative, I cut out face parts using seaweed paper to create the nose, eyes, and mouth. You can get creative and use anything you like to enhance your home party dishes. Finally, garnish with dried green seaweed to finish off the pumpkin. For the mackerel oshizushi, I'm going to be using this ghost one. Today I'm using South mackerel you can find at Japanese supermarkets. Carefully cut out the shape and remove the outer layer. Put in the sushi rice in the wet cookie cutter up to the halfway point and press lightly to create the shape. This time I'm going to lay gari or pickled sushi ginger evenly across the surface. Once again, add sushi rice up to the very top and press one last time. Carefully take out the oshizushi and place the south mackerel on top. Lastly, add the face parts of the ghost if you like, and it's done! When it comes to Halloween, you can't forget about pumpkin. So I'm going to be making a pumpkin salad on the side using kabocha or Japanese squash. Sprinkle on some salt onto thinly sliced cucumbers, mix lightly with your hands, and leave it aside. Meanwhile, microwave the kabocha for two minutes so the skin will become soft and peel off easily. For the kabocha salad, I'm going to be using kombucha powder made from kelp, which is commonly used as a flavor enhancer. It's healthy for you as well. Smash the kabocha after removing the skin, put in the kombucha powder, and mix well. If you can't find the kombucha powder at Japanese supermarkets, you can just use salt instead. Wring out the water in the cucumber slices and add to the smashed kabocha. Sprinkle on dried bonito, add a little bit of mayonnaise, and mix it all together to finish. Add your final touches to all dishes and... Here are my finished Halloween dishes. They're very seasonal, decorative, and delicious making it wonderful to make for friends and family. Once again, for the full recipe and additional details, please visit my blog, fujisanke.com slash melody. Halloween only happens once a year, so I hope you enjoy trick-or-treating or making your own Halloween dishes to make it more memorable. Halloween といえば trick-or-treating ですが、今年はハロウィン風のお料理も作ってより楽しんでください。Have a safe and happy Halloween!